Pea seeding rate trials are a newer trial type started in 2021 in the on-farm network. We'll review those results here today. One of the reasons we started the seed seeding rate trials in 2021 was that we'd noticed when we were doing plant counts in fungicide trials over the last few seasons that pea plant stands were kind of all over the place. So this graph is showing plant stands in the on-farm fungicide trials from 2019 to 2021. Established plant stands that we saw in the field were almost never up to that recommended plant stand from the small plot research, which is about seven to eight plants per square foot established in the field. However, we were seeing some really good yields at what would be considered pretty low stands. So this raised some questions for us. Are we leaving behind any yield? And why are these plant stands so low in peas? So in some cases, the seeding rates were generally just lower, but across the board, we were on average only seeing 60% of the seed put in the ground become a reproductive plant at R3. So overall, these are some of the questions that really drove our interest into starting some pea seeding rate trials in the on-farm network. The objective of these trials is to dive into the agronomic and economic impacts of different seeding rates in peas. Is there an effect on yield? And if there is an effect on yield, is yield improved by enough to pay for the extra seed cost? The other question involved in these trials is how can we improve pea survivability in plant establishment? Why is it so low in the field? So over the last two years, nine trials have been established and seven trials were taken to harvest. We did lose two trials to drought and hail, but within these trials, the seeding rates are determined by the farmer, and the goal is to have a minimum difference of 20 seeds per meter squared, or 80,000 seeds per acre difference among the seeding rates. Since it's under 10 trials, here is a bit more information on each specific trial, which variety was sown, germination rates, row spacings used, and the seeding rates they tested. So chromes and amaryllos were the most common varieties used in these trials so far, and they have a thousand seed weight on average of 240 grams per thousand seeds. Seed for each trial was sent off for germination testing ahead of the trial and ranged anywhere from 70% to 96%. On average across the trials, it was 85% germ. Seeding rates tested are listed in seeds per meter squared with bushels per acre in the brackets. So we have four trials that have compared 70 to 90 to 110 seeds per meter squared. And I wanted to draw your attention to how that's changing the different bushels per acre seeding rates. So different varieties have different seed sizes and that can really change up your seeding rates in terms of bushel per acre or pounds per acre. So a bars, for example, have a really large seed size. So it's three bushel per acre just for the lowest seeding rate here and four and a half for the higher seeding rate. Luachcos and Incas are smaller, meaning we have a lower bushel per acre seeding rate to achieve the, achieve the same number of plants or seeds per area in these trials. And in these trials, we're evaluating plant stands both early in the season for establishment and during maturity to, to see how those plant stands change throughout the season among the different seeding rates. So we're counting 10 feet of two rows in each strip, and we're doing this twice along two transects uh, to get the average plant stand at those two different timings in the field. Overall, what we've seen from the last two years of these trials is the number of pea seeds that survive to establish a living plant has been low on average. Plant stands during vegetative stages were on average 16% lower than we would have expected from germination rates alone. So on average, 68% of the seeds put in the ground survived to establish pea plants during vegetative growth stages, and it was as low as 46%. When we revisited those same spots in the field and looked at plant stand counts before harvest, what we found was that plant stands at maturity were 4% lower on average than at those earlier V stages. That means on average, 64% of the seed we put into the ground in the spring survived all the way to harvest. But before getting into yield results, the two trials um, that were unable to be harvested were these two on the left in 2021. So PSR 06 and PSR 02 were the ones that were lost. But now we can look at yield. So looking at the seven trials that we were able to harvest, this is established plant stands versus yield. So each set of colored dots is a different trial on this graph. And we have the established plants per square foot versus yield on the side. 
So of those seven trials so far, we have not seen a significant yield response to seeding rate yet. If we look at each of these trials, what we're seeing is there's really no increase in yield as plant stand is changing. It's a lot of very flat lines. So this is a small data set we're starting with. So I am excited to continue these trials and have this grow under more environmental conditions and capture more regions across Manitoba. But this is really interesting stuff so far. If we're looking at that same information just in a different way, each seeding rate treatment for each trial is listed along the bottom of this graph in its respective bushels per acre seeding rate. And you can see not a lot of, not a lot of change among those seeding rates in yield. On average, across these trials, um, peas yielded 43 bushels per acre in 2021 and 72 bushels per acre in 2022. So environment's also playing a really big role here in yield potential for peas. In summary, pea yield has not changed with changes in seeding rate at this field scale on farm so far. Seed survivability or the amount of living plants establishing has been lower than expected in peas, and we're interested in investigating that quite a bit more over more growing seasons. So the recommendation remains to target seven to eight living plants per square foot to maximize yield in peas. And seven to eight plants per square foot is ideal since with lower plant stands, weed control becomes much more challenging. Peas have a harder time knitting together, impacting both weed control and standability. On the flip side, seeding rates that are too high will also lead to lodging since there's just more plant material there. Seven to eight plants per square foot has seemed to be that happy medium where yield is maximized, plants are standing up, and the crop is very competitive against weeds. When you're choosing a seeding rate for peas on your farm, do take note of the variety's seed size and calculate your seeding rate based on your germination rate and your expected seed survival. That expected seed survival is going to be based on your farm's experience. Here's a quick cheat sheet for different seed sizes. When germination is 95% and your expected survivability is 90%, so in these trials we're finding that number is actually a bit lower. So the top row here is the bushels per acre seeding rate you'd need to establish eight plants per square foot and the bottom is seven plants per square foot. But to inform that expected seed survival part of that equation, take a look and count plant stands in your fields. Relate that back to your seeding rate. Is it lower than you were expecting? Is there anything that you can think of that might have reduced plant establishment in that field? Is there anything we can do to improve the amount of plants that are establishing in peas? So a few quick research updates and observations that might be impacting your plant establishment. In terms of seeding depth, targeting one and a half to two inch depths, placing those seeds into moisture will help minimize the amount of seeds that are left sitting waiting for a rain or those that are being stranded near the surface. Those pea cotyledons are staying below ground so they can come up from a depth much easier than soybeans. We also want to think about seeding date. So seed in April or early May into soils that have reached at least five degrees at depth. Warmer soils does mean faster, more even emergence, but research is also showing that seeding into soils below 10 degrees Celsius has reduced root rot severity, which might be impacting our plant stands. Delaying seeding has also meant that that later seeding date specifically also means that peas are flowering in the heat of summer and they can shrivel up those flowers if it's too hot as well. So generally, those earlier seeding dates are going to perform better for peas. MASC data from the last 15 years indicates greater yield potential with earlier seeding dates in peas. Let's target that last week of April and that first week of May. In MASC data, that is resulting in greater than 100% relative yield so far. MPSG also funded a study, study with PAMI to measure seed damage with air seeders on peas in 2021. And that was to see if there was anything specific there that we could do to reduce damage when seeding. So in this research, they used a 65 foot Borgo hoe drill, three P moisture contents were used. So as received at 13.6% moisture and then dried or wetted to get different moisture contents. And then also three fan speeds were tested the recommended setting from the manufacturer, and then lower and higher RPMs by 8%. Interestingly, from this research, fan speed actually didn't affect germination, vigor, or seed coat damage in peas. What did matter the most was moisture. Seed moisture content um, played a big role where germination and vigor 
were both reduced by about 12% each with drier seed. And there was no difference between 13.6 moisture and 15% moisture in this research. So that's just a quick summary of some of the small plot stuff that might be impacting our pea survivability, but we're really curious to investigate this more on farm as these trials grow. So if you are interested in learning more about these seeding rate trials or participating in a trial yourself, please reach out to Ian, the on-farm network technical specialist. And then all of these results of these trials and more can be found on our website at manitobapulse.ca or by following this QR code to the database of trials. Thanks for your time today. I've been Laura, NPSG's Western agronomist, and here's Boots in one of those pea seeding rate trials last year. He's a big fan of sprayer tracks. So to stay up to date on these trials and more, follow us on social media listed here. Thanks.